Hey everyone, so today I filmed a bronzy, warm, smoky eye. I have no idea what I'm going to call this yet, but I really, 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 really like the way it came out. I use the Too Faced a Chocolate Bar palette, and I honestly love this palette to death already. I've been using it non-stop since I've got it, um, but I just created this look, and I feel like this would be perfect to go out with your girls, or maybe if you're going on a date, or you just want to, you know, look pretty for yourself. So, um, I think that is all I have to say, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So, of course, we're going to start off with priming our eyes, and I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, my favorite eyeshadow primer of all time. I will not switch primers after all the ones I've tried. This is just my beloved. And I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm going to be using the shade called Salted Caramel. And this is just a brown really warm brown orangey shade and I'm just putting that into my crease sweeping it back and forth and blending it at the same time and I'm going to be using that for some warmth and for my transition shade as well and as you can see I'm not really going like too too light but I just like to blend it really nicely then I'm going to be using the shade called creme brulee and this is just a really beautiful golden shade it has specks of shimmer and has a really nice sheen to it not um chunky glitter to where it's gonna fall out all over your face these eyeshadows don't have any fallout in my opinion i haven't had a problem with that but i'm just putting that on the inner corner of my eyes and also on the inner half of my lid just really packing on that color so it stands out and nothing fades away when i'm going to be going back and blending everything together then I'm going to be going in with the shade called Hazelnut, and this is just a warm brown with specks of golden shimmer in it, and I'm putting that on the outer half of my eyelid. Not really trying to be precise with it because I am going to be blending it out. Then I'm using the shade called Amaretto, and this is just a a uh, reddish wine color, but again, it has specks of gold shimmer in it, and it's just a super duper beautiful, beautiful color. It's very warm in my opinion, and it just sort of blends out everything and makes everything look really nice and seamless. And I did my eyeliner, my mascara, my brows, my foundation, my concealer, and setting all off camera because I was filming another video then I'm going in with the bare minerals uh, matte foundation in the shade golden tan and I'm going to be carving out the hollows of my cheeks and then the tops of my forehead as well as my temples and I actually do blend this while I am applying it then I put it on the lower parts of my jaw and then I go in with a clean stippling brush and I just go ahead and blend out any harsh lines because I do not want it to look like I have brown lines all over my face <laughs> so then I'm going to be going back with the shade called hazelnut and I'm going to be putting that on my lower lash line, not taking it all the way in, but sort of taking it just to my tear duct. And then I'm going to be doing the other eye, and I have a very, very light hand when I'm doing this because I don't want it to look very, very dramatic, but I do want it to be smoky at the same time. Then I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it all out so it doesn't look like I just have a straight line under my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade called Think Pink and applying that all over my lips. And then taking the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair and applying that on top just for some shine and to finish off my look. And that is the finished tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!